Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the different sections that are used in compression member. So let's see what sections are generally used in the compression member. So the first type of section that is used in the compression member is the rectangular tube section means if it is hollow rectangular section like this then this is generally used for the compression members such as columns like this so it is hollow rectangular section then we have four angle box section now this arrangement i have also shown you previous in the previous videos see for example you have angle section like this there is another angle here like this and in the same way there are two more angles like this one angle here and another one here so these four angles if they are connected together they will form or they will act as a box and to connect this you can use the cover plates here like this you can use the cover plates here similarly you can use the cover plate here and here also and you can connect them either by bolts or the welds if you are doing bolting it will be like this it may be single bolted double bolted whatever it is so this arrangement is known as four angle box arrangement four angles box section and this can also be used in the compression member and what is the benefit of using this c for example this type of sections will be used for the heavy loads for example if you know or if you have studied that compression members may be subjected to the heavy loads so for example uh, this angle one angle has a capacity of uh, let us assume that it has a capacity of 200 kN. so all four together it will not be like this all four together will be having capacity of 4 to the 8 and this 800 it is not like this it will be obviously more than this because all together they will act a very in a good manner and they will not only resist these loads but they will be capable of resisting the loads which are greater than this so that is the benefit of using and this is also known as built up section then we have box section in which two channels are used these are nothing but like this it is the above diagram is given in 2d let me show you let us assume that this is your first channel section and this is your second channel section like this so if they are connected like this and again you will connect these two channels by using two plates like this and you can join this by using bolted connection so this type of section is called as box section in which two channels are placed face to face this is the face to face arrangement okay and if you want to see this in 3d it will look like this there is one channel here and there will be another channel here like this so in 3d it will look like this this is your channel section so for columns you can use this type of sections and plates will also be connected to it so this is your box section these are connected face to face in the same manner you can connect like this they will not be face to face but back to back they will be connected like this one channel will be provided like this and another channel will be provided like this so this arrangement is known as back to back channel sections connected and they will act as a box section then there are more sections which are used for the compression members first one is w with the cover plate now why it is known as w because we have seen in the first lecture itself I think in the first lecture or in the first chapter introduction chapter for example if this is your i section so it is denoted or it is generally uh, designated as iswb that is wind wide flange beam so this type of sections has has wide flange that's why they are known as w so it is actually isw or just w you can write so w with cover plate and these are cover plates which are provided above it like this same at the bottom you can provide the cover plate so this one is your cover plate and this one is your 
I section that is Indian Standard Wide Flange Beam. Then we have W with channels same I section and there are two channels provided above it. In same like this, but they they will be channels like this. Channel sections will be provided same in this manner like this. So channels will be provided. Then we have built up sections. As I told you, you can use the combination of uh, various sections to make the section built up. For example, here there are four angles. If you want to see it like this, they will be like this. There is one angle here, there is another here, then there will be one more angle here, and there will be another angle here, and there will be a plate over here, and they may be connected like this by the bolts. So, this is your built up section. In the same manner, see the four angles are connected. There is one angle here, another one here. There is one more here and fourth one here. Then there will be uh, a plate here and there will be two plates over this. So, all these are sections which are used for the compression member. Let's see more sections. See, even single angles and combination of these double angles, T, T sections, channel sections, even this can also be used. Even simple W column that is Indian standard wide flange beam, then in the pipe, pipe or round sections can also be used. Then square hollow sections can also be used or circular hollow sections can also be used. So all these sections are those sections which are used in the compression member. Okay. So you if you if in exam it is asked like this, you have to list out. If you want to list out, if it is asked that just list out. So you will list out all this. And if it is says that describe or classify or write down the various sections that are used in compression member. Then even you can draw the sections, various sections, it will be better so that your marks will not be deducted. So this was the video on classification of sections which are used in the compression member. Thank you.